and welcome <laughs> to the Congo Hour. I thought that last picture <laughs> was live. You did too. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Hello and welcome to the Congo Hour. My name is Trippy. I want to thank you so much for tuning in this evening. This is my co-host, Wayna. And tonight we have two of my favorite parts of the Congo Hour. We have a double dose of Student of the Week. Yes. Since we had our, our family, Christmas family special last week, yeah. um, my previous student wasn't able to come on, so she is on um, upcoming. And then we have um, Paul from New Horizons. He has a uh, he runs a community center over on Concord and Washington Avenue, right in the second district. He's going to talk about some things that he has going on. Then we have our second student of the week. So we're going to have a lot of fun this show. <laughs> and then around 8:30, I'm not sure if. Uh, my dad is coming, hopefully not, uh, maybe, because uh, he might have his own agenda. But I want to talk about some um, things that are going on in the city. I want to take some live calls. So uh, you want to you give a preview? You want to give a, um, I guess, a sneak peek of what we want to talk about at 830? Oh, sure. Um, the state has some money that they have allocated for the city. But however, there's a hold up with getting the money because there's some information that's not being released. Right, I so. wanna talk about just that whole dynamic of, okay. I just wanna get your thoughts, I'm gonna give you my thoughts around that and we'll just talk about it and have a good dialogue about it. Did you realize that today is our last show of the year? Yes. You did? Mm -hmm. Why are you saying Because like Thursday that? is New Year's. Well some, okay. So it was pretty obvious, but. <laughs> Did you want to, um... Oh. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> is it? So, so tonight oh, is our last... Forget <laughs> tonight it. Is our... <laughs> forget it. I'm All right. Sorry. Thank you, Wayna. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And then after that, we're going <laughs> to have our community news. We have our funeral announcements. Dave's even shaking his head at <laughs> you. So is gonna, the new guy. Like, the what new the guy, world? You don't, you don't even know his name, the new guy? I... Oh, my Goodness, he just David. What's his name? Just put your foot. Juan. He's only been here like Ron. He's only been here like three weeks now. Like a month and a half, but Ron. <laughs> let's, let's go into our first interview, <laughs> so we won't take up too much more of her time. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm good. You're doing all right. <laughs> yeah. I'm all right. You want to introduce yourself to everyone? You can let everyone know your name and how old you are, what school you go to, what grade you're in. Well, to start, um, my full name is Asia Johnson. I am right. in the eighth grade, and I go to Shoe Medill Middle School. Um, and what's your favorite class? What's your favorite subject at Shoe? At Shoe? My favorite subjects, I would say, would be mostly art class. Art classes, okay. You like to draw? I love to sketch. You do, especially on my free time. Uh, I wish you would have brought some of your sketches yeah. in and yeah. shared them with everyone at school unfortunately school? Uh, okay how long have you been sketching um since you were little basically pretty much okay mm -hmm. and you have a you brought somebody with you i'm not sure who she is you want to um, introduce everyone to her <laughs> well the friend that was supposed to be on the show with me her name was essence cooper mm -hmm. and she's been my best friend i would say for four years now okay um she was with us right yes essence was yes and so who'd you bring instead? My mom. Your mom. <laughs> I brought my mom. <laughs> <laughs> so mom, I know you must be extremely proud. Yes, I am. Yes, I am still. It's tough, but I'm extremely proud. Yeah, extremely here proud. You are. Yeah. She started, she said I was going to make honor roll, and she did it. Mm -hmm. No pressure. I didn't put any pressure on her. She just did it. Decided enough was enough, huh? Yeah. You know, big honor roll. All right, yeah. that's what I like. That's what this episode is all about. Yeah. Um, so, so tell us how how was it? How was your? Um, what was the process of you making honor roll? What did you do differently? What I did differently, honestly, in making the process of getting honor roll mm -hmm. was that I started to focus a lot more in class and I started to practice at home. Also, okay. me, I'm not such of a study person. I hate studying, me honestly. Too. It annoys me. It's like sitting. It annoys me. Every too. time I try to study, it's like I always end up playing games on my phone, texting people, or calling people. Well, we might be brother or sister. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. Did but, you hear that? <laughs> oh, Jesus. But it's. 
I, I got through it. Yes, you did. Surprisingly, I did not, not know. Surprisingly. Very surprisingly. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't think I could study like that. No, but you did it, right? Yeah. And what and were your grades? Well, I had a A in math. Okay. Let me just summarize this. All like right. Four A's and two B's. Okay. Very All good. All right. And your mom wanted to, uh, she wanted to congratulate you and recognize you, so she uh, got in touch with Wayna. Mm -hmm. We got you a limousine ride. So, uh, how'd you like the ride? It was awesome. You know, I gotta say, you, you were probably one of the most excited students of the week I have ever had. When I, when I pulled up, she just could not believe that she was going to school in a limousine. She was just. She asked you to come back. <laughs> I don't think you didn't tell her, did you? Yeah, I did. Oh, she did. I she ended up knew. telling her. Okay. But she was still excited. She was just. Mm -hmm. She just lit up like a Christmas tree when Aww. that limo pulled up. She could not believe it. <laughs> And then we went to breakfast, and you got you got some type of what is that from McDonald's? You got a little coffee. That they I, had yeah. a I had an iced coffee. Yeah, iced, iced coffee. coffee. Yeah, I think I guess you really like those, right? Uh, yeah. 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 No, she was like, I got a limousine ride. Plus, I got an iced coffee. <laughs> this is the best day ever. It was beautiful. <laughs> oh, so glorious. Beautiful. The principal oh, greeted her outside. Yes, they did. Yes, yes, she they was did. like the rock star for the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, let's say a couple of days. A couple, oh, oh, couple, oh, couple of days. Couple of days. Rock star for a couple of days, huh? That's good. So some of your um, your friends, I know, know if some of the administration, they were out there, right? Mm -hmm. Who was out there? Was it the principal? principal? Yeah, the principal, and principal was there. dean, and the police officer, that, of course, <laughs> uh -huh. watches over our school. You want to give you want to give them a shout out? Your principal, or anybody else from the school? Teachers? Well, I guess shout out to Miss Savage, my awesome principal, and my dean. Kind of forgot his name for a second. <laughs> Wayne is rubbing off on you. That's well, right. Come on. Shout out to the school, Essence. <laughs> Shout out to Essence, of course, my best friend who has always been there for me. Okay. So. All right. You want to um, <laughs> talk about anything else before we go to break? You okay? Uh, I don't know, actually. Right. No? Okay. Well, you did very well. So you were kind of nervous, but you did a great job, just like you did at school. So keep up the great work, okay? Okay. And we do have a uh, certificate that Wayna is going to give you. Aww. Okay. It says, um, presents the Jaywana M. Lewis Memorial Certificate of Academic Excellence to our Student of the Week, a community recognition of youth who are making a difference, and Trippy and I signed it. So, Aww. congratulations. You can put that right on top of your honorable <laughs> certificate. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, thank, thank you, ladies. Thank you so much. Right. Yeah, thank well, we'll you. Keep going the best you can, all right? All right. All right. We're going to take a quick break and we'll come back with uh, Paul from New Horizons Community Center. Good evening and welcome back to the Congo Hour. We now have our next guest, Paul Barry from Horizons Community Center. Welcome to the Congo Hour, Paul. How are you? Thank you. I appreciate and um, feel real honored to be able to be here. Oh, yeah, we honored to have out, you here. Yeah. Yeah, That's good. good. Things in the, in the community. Yes. We're trying, you know, um, it's New Horizon Community Center and it's kind of the name kind of takes over for itself. It's like we're trying to bring up that perspective and change in that community. Right. We're located over on um, Concord and Washington and it's not really, uh, it doesn't hit the famous um, places to come hang out in Wilmington. We're trying to make it though. Mm -hmm. That's why, that's exactly why you need to be there though. Yeah, right. it, it's, it's like, you know, in the last year alone we've had two murders, four or five bad shootings. And um, a lot of the kids don't want to come out. Of the, come out, they don't feel safe. Mm -hmm. A lot of the, the elderly feel the same way. So, with our presence being there, it kind of it's, it's kind of loosening it up. The kids are coming out more. People are starting to talk about us, right. and, and that's really what our purpose is. Mm -hmm. So, what do you offer the community? Well, one of the things that we offer the community, especially with our kids, is homework helping. You know, a lot of the kids that are from Skyline and Warner don't, don't really meet the standards yet. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're here to try to help them. Um, the Attorney General has been over to our place and he talked about, you know, going down and talking to both those schools and letting them know we're in here and stuff like that. You know, you and I both spoke about, you know, being able to mentor more kids, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and that's really important to us right. because of the fact sometimes these kids just need to know that somebody's there for them. Mm -hmm. and, and that's really what, what our other goals and objectives are. 
one of the other things that we want to do down there that I've been trying to is bring a food program. Okay. Because a lot of the kids that we have down there are hungry. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're growing. I mean, they ain't like when we were kids. Little, I mean, these kids eat and eat. I have an 11-year-old daughter who eats eight times a day. <laughs> Did you say eight <laughs> times, Paul? <laughs> and if I had enough for nine, nine, she would. <laughs> but, I mean, that's what kids are doing nowadays. Yeah. And a lot of the kids that are coming to our center, you can sense that they don't have that extra, they don't have that extra meal. Right. And so I've been trying to talk to the food bank in the city of Wilmington to be like, look, why don't you do a drop off? Mm -hmm. You know, let these kids eat. Right. I mean, it's not like you don't have enough. Mm -hmm. And um, we're, we're still in the process of doing that. Okay. You know, I have some good friends of mine that are talking to them and trying to negotiate. And I hope it works out that it way. Will. Yeah, yeah, it will. Yeah, it What are your hours down there? Um, basically from like 11 in the morning to about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night, Monday okay. through Thursday, and from 11 to 7 on Fridays. We uh, have time scheduled for the weekends, but due to, due to some circumstances, some of our financial situations, we can't always be there on the weekends. Right. So when I'm in town, it's open. Mm -hmm. And the kids know, because they just come in and just make themselves at home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the other things that we're trying to do down there is have a computer lab. Okay. You know, part of the education for the day is learning how to use a, and access to the computers. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the kids, you know, a couple of the big families that we have, their kids are coming from eight, nine children. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times their parents don't have enough money to get the, the internet right. um, or even cable. So we want to make sure we're able to be able to offer that to them. Mm -hmm. And we're working on getting the computers down there. Okay. You know, a lot of these things too, it makes this kind of a special organization is a lot of this is done by private donations. Mm -hmm. we, have, we don't have no grants yet. You know, um, even though we've been in an organization for a long time, we've only been there since about July. So, you know, it's been a lot of friends of mine that have been helping me and it's like, you know, they believe in the cause that we're doing. Mm -hmm. and, and it's a good thing. It is. You know. So if people want to help, uh, how can they help? Um, they can help by, by calling me at my number is 302-377-8238. Okay. They can come down to the, um, uh, the, the spot. Even though our address is on Washington Street, our entrance is on Concord. It's New Horizon Community Center. It looks like the, um, the logo from the plumbing company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so people get confused, but you're in the right place. And, and there's reasons why. You know, Mark and I are good friends, and he's been helping out a lot, and he's watching us see us develop, mm -hmm. and they're getting, you know, they're getting more and more and in, in trying to get involved with us. And those are the type of people that, that and companies that we need to get back into the community. Mm -hmm. Another um, landmark that is doing a lot of positive things right next door, or maybe a door down, is on Cool Kids. So if people are familiar with where Cool Kids Daycare is, you're uh, right next door. Yeah, we're actually away. we're actually two doors two down doors from Cool Kids. Right. You know, and we're in the process of trying to do some work with Cool Kids. You know, okay. dealing with some of the older kids in the after school, because they only go up to like I think kindergarten, mm -hmm. and maybe doing some stuff because of the, all the extra activities that we do. You know, where um, it's it's just interesting. Mm -hmm. We do have martial art classes twice a week. We do have yoga that we're going to be putting in there. We do have exercise programs that these kids can be active. Because mm -hmm. these kids get bored really easy. Right. And when they get bored, they start tearing stuff up. We had a Christmas party mm -hmm. Wednesday. We had Santa Claus down there. You know, we had about 27 kids down there. Okay. And they tore that place up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, In a was, good way, right? Yeah, but it was fun there. You know what I mean? They all got gifts. They were all That's happy. Nice. They were fed. Mm -hmm. Very you good. know, on a rainy day on top of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I was thinking? I'm sure, Trippy, we, we have a lot of viewers that own businesses or have a business that, like, they are getting new computers or whatever. Mm -hmm. So if right. you have, like, any old computers, um, not dinosaurs, but fairly um, <laughs> decent computers right. that you can donate to New Horizon, if you would be so kind and give Paul a call on the number that's listed, mm -hmm. or any monetary donations, or any donations whatsoever, right, Paul? Yes, ma'am, we are, we, are we are a 501c3 nonprofit. Yeah. You know, we are, we're very well established. 
you know, Mr. Congo was there. The city gave me a, a resolution award. When you say Mr. Congo. This one. This one, oh, okay. Yeah, he's, I, I guess he might not be used to <laughs> you that. Just, you, I wasn't used to it either. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Paul. Hmm. I thought you meant his dad, but go ahead. I haven't met his father yet. We're okay. working on that next. Okay. But he's, but, he's, but he's a good dude. I mean, even, you know, even Trip comes down a couple of days a week, and we, like I said, we're, him and I are talking about doing some more mentoring programs with the kids. And I think that's really important. Most definitely. Do you need volunteers at all? Yes. Okay. You know, um, volunteers could come down in the homework helping program. We're looking to see if some retired teachers want to come down. We're working with um, the district planning committee as well and, okay. and doing stuff. So it, it's sometimes it takes one to break the ice and have the other mm -hmm. ones follow. Right. It's because that area has such a bad reputation, people are very skeptical. But they're seeing us there a lot, and because of that, they're, they're more comfortable to come down. So New Horizons can be the change agent for that community. That's what we're trying, and that's what we're hoping to be able to do. I mean, you know, there's a lot of churches around and stuff like that, so we may be ho hoping to do some work with them, but we're there during, we're there in the prime time hours. Yeah. You know, and people are starting to look at that, and it's very good. It's that attraction. And that's one of the things that we try to do the most is in our attraction. A lot of people talk, you know, and there's no, nothing ever being done. Here they see it. And that's the, that's the important thing. And that's the mm -hmm. hope that these kids get is the fact that they see it. They might, you know, they might take a, uh, they might take a little while to understand it, but they know that they're there. You know, it's just like, like my daughter. She knows her father's there. Mm -hmm. So it gives her a lot more comfort growing up. And that's what these kids need. Not saying, that, like, not saying that these kids don't have fathers, but I'm just saying they're, they're used to hearing what's coming and they never see it happen. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, I, I appreciate you, you guys on. for coming on the show. I'm, I'm trying to learn to be a little bit more politically correct every time, so you know this is <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. You know? <laughs> I mean, it, nah, it, just be yourself, man, because you're you're a nice, giving guy, so never change. Well, you we try yourself. to, man. You yeah, know, so you'll, you'll be fine. And, and that's something that I believe in is that you know you have to you have to be of service. Leaders serve. That's right. You know, they don't sit back and, and, and you know take the pot all by themselves. All right. Very true. All right, well, appreciate you. Just come come back whenever you want to. Maybe when you come back, we can... Um, maybe we'll do a demonstration, yeah, maybe get some of our kids <laughs> down here. That's right. Because our kids, you know, one of the things that I want to say before here we close... We See, we said we're not going to let you run over the whole show, take over the whole show, Paul. Yeah, well, you shouldn't let me head the rep. <laughs> nah, I, I want, I want, I want to see... One of the things that I want to try to do and bring down there is different type of programs. Mm -hmm. You know, like I've been talking to some friends of mine, maybe doing some acrobat, you know, gymnastics, okay. you know, stuff like that, mm. because these kids aren't afraid to run into a wall. <laughs> so why not do, teach them how to do That's it the correct right. way? That's right. That's you know, right. That's true. and simple stuff like that. Mm -hmm. All right, so if you can help in any way, whether, whether it's physically, or if you can help um, donate any food, or any, uh, if you can help financially, just give Paul Barry a call at the number that's on your screen, or stop by his uh, shop. Might even see me there doing some uh, some training. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. Talk about that next time. Yes, sir. We're going to take a uh, really quick break, and we'll be right back. We see strategies, but maybe there's the strategies of the of the Wilmington Police Department, mm -hmm. and the um, and the mayor uh, hasn't hasn't uh, provided hasn't, that hasn't information provided yet. Information yet. So this, the money is being held until he does um, provide that. So I just wanted to talk to you about it, Wayner. You know, talk to the viewing audience, take some calls, and see how they feel about it. Yeah, because I, I think that if we if they don't get it soon, they're gonna, they're gonna yeah, receive not it. yeah. Yeah, and, and um, there was a there was a meeting down in Dover Legislative Hall around this whole topic, mm -hmm. and they uh, they approved it. Um, you know, there's been a lot of articles written in the news journal about it, a lot, a lot of talk about it. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I feel. Um, I guess I feel ambivalent. And I, I guess I, you know, I'll tell you why. Um, well, first, I don't think that the city police department, which has over 300 police officers, necessarily needs 
that extra help. I think that um, we have plenty. Of, I'm not saying that we. You that mean money be, help? No, as far as uh, physical police officers patrolling Wilmington. Okay. I think that with over 300 uh, police officers, mm -hmm. with a city the size of ours, mm -hmm. we have more no. than enough. That's more correct. Than enough. Um, I think that the Wilmington Police Department needs to reorganize and just put more patrol patrol uh, officers on the street. I totally agree. Uh, there is no way that we can have over 300 officers and have a city as small as we are is and need help. Not saying that that help shouldn't ever be welcome because mm -hmm. you know um, we are part of Newcastle County and we are part of the state. So if the county and, uh, and the state officers ever want to come in to help, please come in and help. I would never turn it away. But first things first, I think that we are more than capable if some changes are made within uh, the Wilmington Police Department. I don't know if we need to, to change the working out of the shifts, but there's no way we can we cannot have we should have at least you know, 75. I think 80 it's police officers on the street at any given time. A lot that's on like administrative duties. It is, and it's the problem is is that once once you're promoted, this is what I'm told at least. Mm -hmm. The problem is that once you're promoted uh, within the mm -hmm. police department, you're promoted off the street. So oh, that's okay. the that's, that's I mean that's a problem within itself like you get a promotion and you're promoted off of the street and if there are just too many officers inside the building and that's coming from police officers mouths themselves mm -hmm. you know i'm not an officer so i wouldn't know firsthand like like i've been told so i think that's the problem that's 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 the first issue uh, we need to um we need to reorganize and um, just and, and and do better within the police department um secondly <coughs> um i think that that kind of money is only putting a band-aid on the issue. Mm -hmm. um, it would, will it help? Probably, it would help. It's gonna put more officers on the street. It's gonna provide the community with a, uh, you know, a safer feeling. But how long is that money gonna last? And what happens when it runs out? Um, and you can't, as much as, I, as much as I believe in community policing and more mm -hmm. police officers on the street, we cannot police our way out of this problem. I think that money should go, and, and million, uh, millions of more money should go towards education and go towards programs like Paul, mm -hmm. uh, who was just on our show, what, he, what he's doing. Um, that money is, is not going to last long. What happens when the police go, when, it happens when, when it's out? We're going to be right back to where we were. Put that money in education, put it in some type of um, community centers where it can have a longer effect. And we have, we have to change the mindsets of our, of our children mm -hmm. and putting more police on the street is not going to do that. But providing those children with a better education, <coughs> excuse me, will do that. So I think that's my biggest gripe. I do I think the mayor should share that information with the state? Absolutely. There is no way that, that he shouldn't. I don't think that it can be justified that he should not share that information. If, and if he does have a reason for not wanting to share it, I think he needs, I'm not sure if he has, maybe I missed it. But I think he just needs to say, hey, this is why I'm not sharing it. Mm -hmm. And just put it all on the table. And let's let's move on in either direction, but I think he should share because obviously they want to help. Um, so let's 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 be a working unit together and let's address some of the issues. But I think we need to put put more attention in uh, in education and not just providing some officers um, with overtime money that's going to run out quickly. Right. But. I'm not sure if we have any, but we do have a call. Let's take that. Oh, call, we probably had a lot coming Sorry in. Sorry about that. Please turn your TVs down. Good evening. Welcome to the Congo Hour. Yes. Good evening. Hello. 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 Did you have a comment? Hi, do you have a comment? Hello? Do you have a comment, sir? Yes, I totally agree with what Trippy was saying about how he feels about the mayor not you know, divulging the opportunity for the, the mayor okay all right thank you sir were, were you finished well I hung up oh, on him so I apologize okay. I thought he was done I don't okay, know I'm not sure if we had a bad connection or not yeah it sounded like it was right, a bad connection that. um I don't know what are, your, what are some of your thoughts Definitely got to try to keep an eye on that little um, call. Another call. You wanna, yeah. You want to give your, you want to um, let them hold on and give yeah. your. Yeah. Um, welcome to the Congo Hour. Will you hold, please? Sure. Thank you. Um, I totally agree with you um, about 
the police officers <laughs> being you. promoted off the streets. Um, I think that there needs to definitely be more visible police out in the community. I also agree that um, Mayor Williams should share um, his ideals on what he would like to do with the money or why he does not want to share. And I was going to say, hopefully, if he's watching tonight's show, that he himself would call in and so people don't speculate right. what's in his mind. Right. Uh, maybe he can call in and share what's definitely on his mind. Yeah, because at the end of the day, I think that the way it's going to be portrayed is that he's going to be the bad guy if he doesn't mm -hmm. accept it. And the way that's going to be written in the news journal right. is that he's going to be a bad guy for not accepting it. So I think that he just needs to to tell his story. Right. Uh, and, then it, and whether it's you know the news media, whether it's you know, on Channel, Channel 28, however he needs to do it, right. he needs to just tell his story. Most definitely. Yes, thank, thank you for calling. Did you have a comment? Yes, mm -hmm. I do. Yes, I do have a comment. Okay. Hi, how are you all doing today? Oh, this wonderful. Evening? All right. Thank, thank you, you for calling. calling. Yeah. Jinx. <laughs> okay. Um, now, what was the initial question? Um. We, it wasn't a question. We just wanted um, our viewing audience's opinion on the subject that we're talking about. And the subject is about the mayor sharing information? Yes, with, with the state. Uh, he should share information with the state. I mean, right now, the worst thing in the world that you can do is by not saying anything, you're going to have the people assume everything. Mm -hmm. right. That's good. Right, that's very yeah, I, good. I agree. Yes. Do you want to give your name or you'll you want to remain anonymous? So you need to say something. Okay. All right. All Thank right. y'all. Right. Thank and you. And Merry Christmas. Merry Same Christmas. to Happy you. New Happy year. New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Because right. when you don't say anything, people can come up with their own thing. Right. Good evening. Welcome to the Congo Hour. Did you have a comment? Yes, I'd like to talk to Tricky to address his comment, commentary about how he feels about the mayor not divulging the information to Mayor Den, the General Assembly, so forth. Okay. Tricky, there? Yes. Yes, I'm here. Okay, but, uh, you know, it's just, Dennis was a cop a long time ago. He's two years older than I am. And with technology and crime the way it is nowadays. It's not like when he was a police officer. I've talked to numerous people throughout the public safety community from all the different areas, tri-state areas, and they totally disagree with him. I've known people who have just sued the city and won for him from his behavior. I know Chief, who was just white first female chief officer who was let go. Uh, I know an inspector who was let go who didn't agree with his beliefs. He's running the police department. The simple reason he does not want to devolve, devolve, you know, devolve this information is that, as the General Assembly stated, we're going to relieve the city of their police duties. Right. He's got to just be the mayor, not the chief of police. And as the review stated, that they definitely need a change from the administration point of view to the patrol point of view. They need new changes, and he don't want to give up the changes. He don't want to give all. He doesn't want to give all that they want because he's afraid of losing the police power that the city holds. And if anybody disagrees with me. I'm all, I'll be all, I'll be listening to the show. I'd like to hear the rebuttal. Okay, thank, thank you for calling. Thank you I for calling that. in. That's a, that's a really thank good you. Uh -huh. I forgot to bring that up. And a lot of people have talked about metropolitan policing as mm -hmm. far as, you know, the state taking over. Yes. And and if you think, when you, when you first hear it, you kind of um, push back and say, oh, no, we don't want that. We want to do our own policing. But if you think about it, if it's a, like, what, what does the everyday residents think about it? Do they really care? Like, take... Like, do they do they care who is policing as long as someone is policing? As long as they're being right, as long safe. as they, as long as their communities are being policed the way they think they should be, like, does it really matter mm -hmm. who's doing it? And 
well, like, what are the implications, like, politically? I guess I'm not as... Hold on um, one second, please. Uh, maybe I'm not as, as astute to see maybe the far-reaching. Mm -hmm. um, um, that's what I'm looking for. Effects mm -hmm. of it. But I mean, does it matter? Does it matter if the police, if the Wilmington Police Department is policing Wilmington or if the Newcastle County, if the, if the state is policing Wilmington, as long as they're trained police officers, mm -hmm. trained in urban policing, trained in community policing, does it really matter? That could be a show. Right. We can have a, right, that's someone from all three. Right, right. I, I don't. Perfect. I don't see, okay. honestly, I don't see the problem. Maybe, again, I'm not seeing, I don't know as much as I should know about it, but I don't, does it really matter to person who is living on 23rd and Market with police cars <laughs> driving up and down, or police officer that's walking up and down their block. Right. Uh, yes, thank you for calling. Hello. Hello. Hi, did you have a comment? Yes, I would like to say that uh, I think the mayor is just another damn phony that we got here in the state of Delaware and carrying his gun and his boot. He need to go on and, and retire. That's what he need to do. Because he ain't doing nothing for our city. He's doing nothing, not nothing. And he ain't nothing but another damn folly. All right, thank you. Thank for, you for thank your you. comment. I really don't want to get, I'm not going to, I'm not going to restrict anyone from their giving their opinion, but I don't want to, I don't want this to turn into a bashing, a mayor bashing or a state bashing or police bashing. I just want to get, I do, I do want to hear people's maybe solutions rather than the bashing. Like, let's, let's talk about some solutions or just your opinion. Of, of around mm -hmm. around the uh, the information and, and the money. Yes, thank you for calling. Yes. Good evening. This is Miss. Hello. Yes. Go ahead, ma'am. Yes, Trippy, you made a good point about different police. It don't matter who they are or where they come from. This city needs help. Okay, thank this you. This city needs help. I don't care if they come from Mississippi. We need help. And this is Step Up calling. Oh, hey, hey Step Up. Step. A lot of my family has been murdered. It's senseless. Mm -hmm. We need help. Uh, we need help. Thank you, Step Up. Thank, thank you for calling in. I don't know if the everyday person really cares. Right. Maybe, maybe politicians care for whatever reasons. Right. Maybe police officers care. But... Who really matters at the end of the day? That's you know, is it, I think it's just the, the constituents. But we'll take one more call. Welcome to the Congo Hour. Did you have a comment? Yes, I'd like to comment on the gentleman earlier who was speaking about uh, the, the mayor and the uh, not divulging the information that the state wants. Yes. Yes, what, what's your comment? The situation was that. Uh, previous caller was stating about that he was, the mayor was just uh, scared of losing his control of the city. As an example, look what happened in Camden. They, re, they revised the whole Camden Police Department. They're no longer in the top 10 as uh, times, you know, what's one to categorize now as shooter, uh, Wilmington Shooter USA, whatever the uh, stigma they gave us. And it's up and coming city now. Because they got rid of the whole total police department. And Camden's a large, large city than Wilmington is. And it's a proven fact. Change is for the better. Thank you. Thank right, you thank for you. your call. Thank you. You're right, Wayne. I think that could be mm -hmm. a whole show mm -hmm. almost around, just around that. But again, I think that too much emphasis is being put on policing. That is not the answer. I mean, it's it's a it's it's a major part, but it's not the biggest part. Like the biggest part is education, and we, and we can't let that escape. We can't let that slide. We can't let we can't forget that that it's not policing. Policing is very important. We do have to do a better job, but we can't police our way out of this problem. We got to educate our kids better. We have to, and we have. I mean, there's a lot going on in our education, and unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time to talk about that. Mm -hmm. That whole I say fiasco, but I think it, it is, is, a, but it is a fiasco. Real, real quickly. And I'm not saying I don't want to take anything away from any other groups who are who are who are trying to make change in in Delaware, and specifically in Wilmington. Whether it's you know Tony Allen and, and his mm -hmm. whole his effort, his group's effort, they are doing a great job. I, I don't think that I don't think that the state is going to budge. And hopefully I'm wrong, 
and we don't have enough time to talk about it, but we will talk about it next Sunday if we can. Okay. And you want to say something? I, I mean, I wanted to talk about, like, my heart goes out to the students who attended Met Charter School. Right. Um, because now they have to go to their feeder schools mm -hmm. where they're going to definitely get lost mm -hmm. in how the mix. How does that even happen? Like, how does that met school? How does that, how does that even happen? I don't want, you don't have enough time. To we don't. Yeah, don't so. Next thank, week. Yeah, thank you so much okay. for, uh, for your, for your um, call-ins. And one day when we have to try to schedule a time, we can just take call-ins for, for the entire hour. Okay. Just to talk about education and, and to talk about policing. All, All right. right. I'm going to take a really quick break and we will be right back with our funeral announcements. <laughs> 